Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're back in Osiris New Dawn. Now, we would be continuing where we left off last, but for some reason, my game save is gone. I don't know what the reason would be, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get back in the game, get to where we were, and take off from there. That way, we don't have to go through everything again. I'll just be there. So I'm going to go ahead and make my character and I will meet you back where we left off last time. And hopefully we'll be somewhat close to that point. So I will see you there. Okay, so we're pretty well back to where we were before. I'm just gathering a little bit more resources, getting some skill. And uh, we'll go back to... The house. I've, I've changed it up a little bit from what we had before uh, just because I was getting prepared for all the building I wanted to do today. One of the things, I mean, I had this all set up before. <laughs> it's kind of um, sad that it was gone, but I'm not gonna really uh, worry about it. Just gonna keep moving on. So, the things I want to do today, I want to make a vehicle um out of the crab stuff just because of the fact that that is a vehicle you can make you go into the skill tree here and it's right there it's a mechanized crab or crab mechanization and um see if that works at all if it's if it's a decent vehicle because i feel I'd like to get the traveling done today. So it's saying that the Cyrus space is this way. I also know that for a fact that is the direction of the fungus. So I want to try to put some beacons down today as well. And uh, yeah, see how many of the places we can get to today. No, I don't want to make it a super long video. So it should uh, should be should be good. So. Let's go ahead and get over to the base and just show you what the difference is that I have made. <laughs> By the way, what, I, what I've been doing is to get combat is I'll go around and I'll gather all of these banana leaves. And whenever I was doing this, I went over this way and I found a new resource that we didn't find last time. And I will show it to you because this this place has come out in spades as far as giving me the stuff that I need. Uh, this is it right here. This is lead. So we now have lead, carbon, lithium, gold, and uh, also we have the uh, copper as well that we're getting over here. But yeah, it's it's really cool that we're able to get that because I was worried we were going to have to travel somewhere else to find it. And luckily we did not. So here's the base. Um, I don't even have these depositories uh, named. I just have them by color. So over here is iron, aluminum, um <laughs> magnesium plutonium and they're actually um organized by how the rarity of the resource meaning that this is all base metals here this is just the uh, unique out of the base metal this is titanium copper gold and lithium and then i guess um i don't have to really worry about a, a place to put diamond because if I got diamond, I put it over here, which is my rarer resources. So I'll put the carbon and the lead in there. So yeah, that's really good. I have a lot of steel. I have a lot of glass. I already had some plastic made up. Uh, we have in, in these, we have a good amount of resources. Actually, it was just going out to get some more. And aluminum is one of the things they finally have an abundance of. This was this is just a resource that it's like scarred my life because of how much I've had to to get it. But uh, now we are a good hundred uh, resource uh, 
200 actually 250 plus what we can make out of this and uh yeah so i just need to um get all this sorted copper here and we're gonna make a building today we're gonna make the vehicle building for sure because they really don't want to travel without some sort of vehicle let's get all that gold in there lithium I haven't refined even um, any of the lithium. This is just something that I got from crates. Magnesium. And we'll go ahead and put points on our skill tree. Let's get that in there. Should have probably just sorted this out. Um, plutonium. And uh, I think I'm, that was iron in there. Okay, cool. All right. Let me see if I have anything in here. Oh, wait a minute. It's titanium, it looks like. Looks like that. And nothing there. All right, so points. We got 10 points to put in. I think I completely did this differently because I was going a whole lot more towards strength this time than I was last time. I definitely want to put about three points into health. Three, I, we're actually, um, yeah, and then I'm going to put four into speed, just to speed my character up. We have 18 points to put into um our combat I started going down here because I, I'd want to get to this point and we don't have any more combat to put in so pretty much we're just gonna do that there uh, science we have 15 points um, I've or I don't even know if I was to this point I was going up these trees got this done so I'm going to put my points there I don't really need to get points into this. Um, mainly this is, is the deal. Now for this side, again, I don't remember what I was working on. Uh, I know I need to get these. But for the purposes of the video today, what we're going to be doing, um, I'm going to go ahead and put points into... Um, do I really want to put oh, points into that? It's a lot of points there. Let me see if I can put the rest of these into here. Nope, requires 15. All right, so we can make the vehicle bay. Let's see what it requires. It's the laboratory. Requires steel, wire, aluminum. Let's start with that. Steel. Okay. Iron is... What? <laughs> Why? Steel plates. Steel plates. Got a ton of those. I'm really bad at memorizing these things. Wire, aluminum, the wire's in here too, I think. No, the wire's over here in this random box away from everything else. Wire, computer components. Uh, what else do we need? Aluminum for sure. Aluminum, gold, lithium. Aluminum. Let's take a stack. Gold. And lithium. How much lithium did it need? Five refined. So we'll just take that and that. Alright, so we just need to refine the lithium. Actually, we only need to make the one. 
And we can make our vehicle bay now. Uh, I'm trying to think where I'd want it. Oh, by the way, here's all of our our uh, things. We have our printer and our and our uh, chemistry plus our poop collector of awesomeness. So here's my plan, or here's why I have this all laid out: is I want to build on top of this hill. That way, wherever I build or whatever direction I build the habitat in. It should be fine. So I'm probably going to build this vehicle bay over here. So let's go ahead and get it on the cursor. And can slant it a little bit. Kind of would like the, uh, the ramp to be close to the ground. Uh, let's see. That actually looks better right there. All right. Then we have to go ahead and put in the walls. We'll have to see what it's required for those. Copper. We can get copper. We have tons of copper. This is why I went ahead and got all the resources that I did. Is just so that I could make sure that I can get this done. So copper. Take. I'll take a little bit of that. And we should be uh, be able to get this done and make our first vehicle. So this is going to be awesome. There we go. And there's three panels on each side. All right. What? Aluminum. We have aluminum. So, this, <laughs> I should have probably just looked at all three of the resources that I needed and just brought it. Brought, like, tons. More than I actually needed. I'll just grab two stacks of that. Should not need more than, more than that. And I think we should have the, uh, enough of the iron on us to be able to get this done. All right. Oh, it's steel. It's taking 10 steel per. And that's how much steel we're left with. So we're going to be really low on steel after this. Okay, let's get this out of our inventory. Um, I'm not even going to... Oh, actually, we should probably look. So here we go. We can't, we need, oh my goodness, we need diamond for that. This is what I'm looking at. So we have the wire, we have the circuit boards. If we don't have the shells, I know where to get the crab shell. I'm 90% sure we have everything to make the mecha crab. So let's go ahead and grab that stuff. And this will be cool if we can actually have Goodbye. some sort of vehicle. Easy. What? What do you say? <laughs> it's over in here. Sort this out. There we go. I think that's everything. Oh, he's complaining because he's not at full health. Yay. Okay. There we go. Huh. Our first vehicle. <laughs> I mean, that I know where the diamond is. So that's not going to be a problem. But just looking through this, we're going to need to make our habitat um, to make wire. I'm trying to think what we'll make next. We'll probably make this. Just because it's really fast and uh, it drives really well. I don't think this is in the game yet. They've actually, I, I'm 90% sure they said that this is not in the game. And they've also said that this is not in the game. Used to be, and actually that's a completely different graphic than I remember for it. But... 
it used to suck. I mean, the amount of resources you put into this, it used to suck. But those are different guns that it has on it now. So we'll end up, we'll see how that is. But I think for now we're good. We're good for our vehicles. We're going to go ahead and empty our inventory. What are you complaining about? <laughs> He's complaining all the time. Um, well, we have enough banana leaf uh, bandages. And we could... Oh, let's grab some more of those. We'll grab that. And we can get more bandages along the way. Probably need to take... Well, we have water. Uh, Strength that. Uh, and really, just... Okay, so that's out. Let's go ahead and grab a semi-full water. Get rid of all this crab stuff. Got some weapons, got um, this just in case we need to farm stuff. Gold, okay, let's go ahead and put stuff away. Go, copper. Lithium. I guess it's titanium. Since it's at the bottom. Put that and that away. I can't believe I'm almost out of that stuff. Uh, at least we still have a lot of circuit boards left. Gold. Let's grab the gold. Or put the gold away rather. It's yellow. It's gold. Alright. I think we're good to go. And uh, yeah. Let's check out the crab thing. <laughs> I've been very interested in this. Oh, we do need one more thing. And I think it's made on here. We need beacons. So, plutonium, glass, and steel. Really, the only thing I need a beacon for is the... Um, is the fungus trees. I know where everything is. Aside from that. So. Glass. I think it said. Steel. Plutonium. I'm guessing that. But I'll also take that with me as well. Was that it? Yep. I'll just make it. I'll make two of them. Just in case. Okay, cool. Put the plutonium away. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. See how fast this little guy is. Alright. So it moves pretty cool. And then you have, you can press shift. It goes pretty fast. Oh, it's like, it looked like it's gliding. <laughs> That's awesome. I wish there was a first person for this. I think they have first person for some other ships, but, and other vehicles, but not this one. Which, I guess it would just be you in the front of it, and you wouldn't really see the rest of the crab. Alright, so, I mean, we're getting there pretty fast. There is no power required. That's pretty cool. It means that I don't have to put gas in it or anything along those lines. has a little gun thing on it that's a straight iron that's really cool okay that's that's just stuff dropping all right Osiris base here we come oh my goodness <laughs> all 
All right, let's. Oh, we have some containers here. Let's go ahead and just get into the middle and we'll take a look around. All right, take a look around. <laughs> okay. Nada. All right, what do you have to say? Okay, fine communication log. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> my crab is all over him. All right, um, let's see. Find the commander in mine boulder. Okay. Trying to think which direction. Okay. I know what it's telling me. I mean, it even put a thing there. But now I need to find. I need to find the location of this thing. Was it the antenna or was it the solar panels that I'm looking for? I think it's the solar panels. Hey, crab. Just crabbing around over here. Don't worry about me. What? Oh, that's an adult, too. Let's not get our crab killed. Okay, let's take a look on the horizon here. We're looking for that. That's what we're looking for right there. Awesome. So, whenever you find these, right down the hill from here is where the fungus tree is. Man, this guy flies really nice. I mean, he really, I mean, this has to be one of the easier vehicles to drive. Just because of the fact that, I mean, look at how steep we're driving down and he is in all control. I mean, he's not going super fast down here. So we found the fungus trees. And this is new. This is, is this how you get the fungus now? I mean used to be a long time back you would hit the base of the tree and it would give you the rubber and then if you hit the leaves and i may be completely wrong about this i i'm pretty sure this is how it used to be you get the fungus from hitting the leaves so i guess they've just made a little fungus groove i don't know how much of this i'd actually even use all right, so let's go ahead and put a beacon down. There we go. Then we're going to name it. T. Press the T. Okay, there we go. Fungus Grove. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just stand here for a while, getting a lot of this. Actually, we'll drive our, our little crab guy down there. Got to think of a name for this guy. What, what kind of name would you guys give him? I mean, you could name him Charlotte, but he is not a, he's not a, a spider, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I mean, give him a name. Let me know. I'll, I'll start calling him that. But until then, I'm going to call him um, Rufus. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pretty much just stand here and do this for a little bit. So I will be right back. All right. So I grabbed um, several stacks. I didn't want to use all of my hammer because I did see something over this way that it looks like the snub stacks. See if this has anything different than what our uh, our one does over on our side of the world i see lithium for sure high of cyclone so it's still snubs but 
but that's just more lithium. I was hoping for another racehorse that, um, that wasn't just, I mean, we have the copper, we need the titanium, like just the straight titanium. And there's gases over there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head straight over to the, um, to the next place, to the mines. And just see how far we can get today. I, I don't know how many parts are going to be to this thing that we're doing. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a lot taken care of. I should have brought canisters so I could get that stuff. How far is it saying? It's uh, pretty far. All right, let me get there and uh, I'll return. Alright, so this looks like, um, I guess, well, I think we used to call this Mine C, or maybe Mine B, but, um, I guess they're now calling it Boulder. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go in and, uh, see what we can find. Okay, so the first thing it wants us to do is find the commander. Um, we have this little power panel up here. We're gonna hit it. And it should bring the lights on mine. This is new. Uh, this wasn't here before. And I don't... Let's see if there's anything in these. I don't think there ever was before. We'll go ahead and turn on our light. To see what kind of stuff. That's copper. Carbon. And really don't need to pick up much of this. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head on down. So, I think what this is going to end up doing is showing us where all of these mines are. I may be wrong about that, but that's how it's seeming. And if it is, then if we're going back over to where Queen Chloe is, I'm definitely going to go ahead and kill Queen Chloe this time have the ability to do it and um i think we should anyway if i can just get more health supplies always down on the health supply Ooh, we can eat uh, some get a little bit of drink in us nicely done and take it taking some of the fabric just because i want to make sure that we get everything that we need <clears throat> i think inflatables are uh use the cl uh the cloth whoa hey hello thank you for staying in the corner for me yeah that's that's not good okay let's go ahead and how many of these do we have Enough. Oh, actually, talking about an inflatable. There we go. Uh, it gave us two of them. That's interesting. That's. I mean, the inflatables, what we can do with those is we can use those on other planets. And, uh, okay, so we're going to have two of these guys. I'm not really worried about me so much. Let's see if I can get more ammo. Put that there. Okay. Cool. 
Cool. We used all the ammo for that. All right, that's magnesium. That's lead. I don't know why I'm taking it. I have lead available to me now. That's lead right there. You can tell by the dull look of the color of it. And, yeah. All right, so that's cool. We got whatever it is that we need to get out of there. They said to find the commander. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is that the commander? Power up the NRC using the new power supply. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and grab. <laughs> Ugh. Get that off of my. Oh, did I just drop it on the ground or something? Good riddance. <laughs> Um, where is it? Come on now. Come on, work with me. Just want some iron. I'll grab it back, I guess. Aluminum, not really in need of that at the moment. Okay. hear you so what you need to do with these guys is you need to sidestep them whenever they come at you come at me bro actually I didn't sidestep very well because I didn't have enough room but uh, yeah if you sidestep them they usually won't be able to get you but you need a little bit more room than what we have here Am I wasting my my health for for not? Is is there? Um, okay, that's taken care of. Carbon, aluminum, really nothing here that I need unless these. Um, yes. Yeah, let's go ahead and re good. use. Take that and. Um, which one do we pull from? Take that. Take it all. Alright, I'm not even going to worry about that unless... It's going to make me. There we go. That's for hitting me. <laughs> Buddy. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the weapon away. I don't see any other reason for it. And I'm guessing it wants us to come to this. F to access. Find mine Magni. Okay, that's what we'll go ahead and do. Let's meet outside. Alright, so it is actually having us go back to the mines that um that Chloe is in or Cleo, something like that. That's where we're heading, so we're going to go ahead and get there, and uh, hopefully I shall have diamond. I'd love like a one or two source diamond there. So uh, yeah, let's get there, get it done, see what happens. Yeah! Okay, so we're here, and I figured we'd go ahead and test how strong this thing is, or how well it is going up really, really steep. Uh, hills because uh, this this is pretty steep I usually have to jump up this a few times and just see what it allows us to do looks like it's taking it pretty well <laughs> actually that's pretty awesome that is that is amazing I think this might end up being my favorite vehicle <laughs> just because of the fact that it can climb like nothing else. And the fact that it flutters down should be a should be a nice nice thing. I like how it like is subservient and just kneels down to let us onto it. 
it's kind of weird seeing the circuit boards and like I mean you don't figure that a circuit board that that we end up getting is that massive you think of them as pretty small but uh yeah anyway let's go ahead and go into mine magni and uh, kill Chloe all right so we've been here before don't, don't really have to actually the mission log is gone I guess we completed the mission I don't know this is a deceased scientist by the way is what his name is you can tell by the clothing that he's wearing so we're gonna go ahead and get the med stuff just because I'm feeling that this um, the amount of bandages that I have right now is not gonna cut it let's go ahead and take that Mm, I don't think we're going to need... Let's go ahead and sort that out. I don't think we're going to need this anytime soon while we're in here at least. And just for safety precautions, because that's almost out, I'm going to put a brand new sword in. And uh, the plan is, is no matter what spawns, we're going to kill Queen Chloe first, loot her. And then we'll kill everything else in the room. That's that's the plan because that way, um, once she's dead, everything else should go easily. But not that she does anything. The the way she works normally is once you spawn or once you hit her, she spawns something. Once that thing dies, that actually affects. Oh, hey, Nat. Uh, that actually affects the, um, that affects her health. So, by killing the mobs that she spawns, it's actually killing her. Yeah. <laughs> At least that's, that's how it normally works. So, I don't know why, but usually right there I have a little bit of lag. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and go down here. So lithium right there you can tell because it glows in the night and that's plutonium <laughs> I can't tell anymore so before we actually kill her I'm gonna go ahead and check to see if there's any diamond spawns uh, if there's not we're going to probably do this several times uh, I won't record it but I will keep coming back until we have some diamond. There's diamond right there. We'll go ahead and grab it. I know I'm going to get hit. Hey, Snug. I'll go ahead and kill you, I guess. Alright, so let's see if we can get... Oh, there it is. Uh, he didn't hit me as much. Let's get as much diamond as we can. Come on, diamond. There we go. How much did we get? We got 18. That's not very much, but I mean, that's more than... The normal, I guess. Alright, so now while this stuff is attacking me, I'm going to go ahead and start killing Queen Chloe. Just got to hit her legs. I think I'm hitting her. <laughs> Can't tell. Alright, just keep hitting her. I know that we're going to keep getting attacked, but she is our main priority at the moment. Kill that. Snugs are just hard not to kill. They they just put them up, themselves up for sacrifice. She's halfway dead. Okay, we're going to go ahead and heal ourselves up as much as we can. Come on. She's almost there. She's almost getting killed. Come on. 
come on, so close, oh boy, that's when you start worrying a little bit, is whenever the, the actual crabs come out. She's dead, okay, grab the guns, let's move away for a second, get a little bit of healing going, and let's just take out the stuff. hate those the most. Alright, where are you at? Let's back this guy up into a corner. If we can. Oh, there he is. I like the colors on this guy. Too bad you can't choose the way your, your crab guy looks. This guy is doing everything he can to stay away from me. Oh, this is a female, actually. No wonder it looks different. Wow, this thing is taking longer to kill than Chloe is. Chloe was. <laughs> okay. There's the adult, I think. Snub. Cannot wait. Cannot wait to make. The gun. The gun is going to be. Well, not the gun, but the ammo. Actually, I'm done here. I don't, I don't know why I'm still fighting. I can go. I don't need to stay. I got the diamond I need. Actually, I need more. So, what I'll do is I'll just keep come in here for a few just to get that diamond and uh then we'll we'll head back home and in the episode there i think i'd like to do more but i think next time is when we're going to build our habitat and everything else so uh let me go ahead and get the diamond all sorted out and i shall return all right so actually every trip that i made into there i got diamond it was actually pretty nice to to get diamond every time but I ended up getting around 60 60 diamond off of I think a total of what three nodes four nodes if, if that that's um uh, that's pretty nice I mean that I don't remember diamond being something that was that easy to get before I'm just going this way because I saw this thing over here um, and we're now going to our home. It's just a satellite. I'm not going to worry about that. But, uh, yeah, got everything we need to do today. Uh, the last thing we'll do is we'll get to the house. We'll put some points in. And, uh, I think that's it. I think that's it for today. I, I really wanted to get some things done. And, um, I think we got them done as far as... Let's see how big of a leap this thing can take. Actually, it'll probably just crawl down the side. It's <laughs> what am I talking about? This thing is amazing. Let me go ahead and get off real quick. And set my location. Respawn. There we go. Just making sure I'm going in the right direction. Pretty much have the map down. Um... I think they either changed the map to make it smaller. I honestly don't know. There's our home over there. But it seems much smaller than it used to be. Because um, I was reading like the lava veins that used to go along are gone. That's completely new. That was never there before. Hello. <laughs> I'll get a little bit trippy. And, uh, yeah, so here we are, we're back at home, diamonds in hand, able to probably put down another vehicle. Wish these were now over there, <laughs> just because this is going to be a long trek back and forth. I know for a fact we need still plates, but, um, let's go ahead and go into here, see where we can get. We have 37 combat because of the fact that we were fighting uh chloe and her minions so i'm gonna go ahead and put my points there 
Oh, so close. <laughs> Three points. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and put my points down this way. Just because I want to get to the turrets. Check those out. Um, let's see. We have 13 science. Is there anything in science that I actually need that I don't have? I mean, it'd be nice to go up this tree, even though those things aren't even in the game yet. Um, am I going to need floodlights? Probably not. I guess I can get that. I mean, I don't think I'll ever make them. Alright, and then over here, we still need this. That's 20 points. Ah, so much. So much points. I still want to go down this line. Actually, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put points down in here as much as I can. Really? Only in the one I could put points into? And that is now out of the scope of my... That takes 20. Well, let's see what came available with this. So we can make ladders. This is kind of what I'm looking for. The ability to make floors and walls, like straight walls, maybe walls that don't require there like that. What I'm thinking about doing is making um, a garage for for our vehicles as we make them. So that's cool we have that available to us. But next time, for sure, we're going to go ahead and make our habitat. We're going to go ahead and make a second habitat, most likely. So we can have one that's stackable, one that's not. Uh, so that we can put our... Um, fabricator in and if we can I'd really like to get the biodome made as well just to get it started but I think that's it for now uh, we'll figure out what we'll do next time I'm gonna just start writing down everything that I want to do and then uh, do it so there's that and let's see, I'm guessing because we went inside, we can't use our poo station. Nope. <laughs> so anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. I will see you next time and we will start building stuff. <laughs> see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.